good afternoon to everyone here. This is Distinguished Toastmaster Brahma Kumar. And today, as a start, I'm interviewing one of the global speakers that I know. He's very famous in Indonesia. He's known as uh, DTM Yusuf Chandra, or affectionately as Pak Yusuf. Hello, Pak Yusuf. How are you today? Uh, fine, thank you. Hi, DTM Brahma Kumar. Nice to meet you again. Nice. So, what I'm trying to do is to find out a bit about you, what makes you have the passion still for Toastmasters. So may I know a bit about your background, where you come from, and how long you have been in Toastmasters? Thank you very much. I, I'm from Indonesia. My home club is Maranatha Toastmasters Club. And I've been a member of the Toastmasters Club for 15 years. Wow, that's a long time. It is. But I love Toastmasters. That's why I keep doing it in the Toastmasters. Uh, may I know your background, meaning um, what profession are you doing? Yes, I graduated from the teacher's college and the hotel school in Bandung. And now I am a lecturer and I've been a lecturer for so many years. Even until now, I'm still teaching in a hotel school in Bandung. Oh, so that's and, the industry, right? Yes. And are you living in Bandung? Yeah, I'm living in Bandung. I've been living here for almost all my life, except some years I went to Europe and I went to America. Now, talking about America, you also studied there, right? Yeah. I studied there. I got a scholarship to study there. And what did you graduate in, in America? Uh, um, baking, science, and technology. Oh, so you're a baker, a chef? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very interesting. I didn't know about that. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So what actually made you come into Toastmasters? What was the, the turning point where you realized that you had to learn your public speaking skill? You know, actually, this is an accident. I went to see my friend, a lecturer in the university, Maranatha, and then she invited me to come with her to go to the club. And I said, what club? You just come la, come and watch. Maybe you are interested. <laughs> and the first time I entered the club, it was like a clapping club. Everybody was clapping, and I was wondering, what club is it? And then suddenly I was called to speak in front. And I thought it was so easy because I've been teaching English so many years. But then I found mumbling all the time. <laughs> and I see other people who are not from English department. They can speak English very well. So I asked my friend, how come they can speak English much better than I can? They said, because this is the Toastmasters. Here, we are trained people to speak in front with this kind of impromptu speech question. So from that time, I said, I must join this club. And I did join it. Good, good. And when did you get your DTM? This, this thing is Toastmaster um, title. I think about four or five years ago. I also noticed that uh, since the COVID-19 started and where we had to virtually visit clubs, you have been visiting a lot of clubs, right? Yeah, I make use of it. You know, this is the only time I can travel around the world without paying anything, just staying here and I speak. It's interesting. I also noticed that you like to always uh, try the table topics. In fact, uh, when I visited some of the clubs, when they asked for the first person to volunteer, you're always the first one, even though you're not a member of that club. Where did you get that, that uh, guts and uh, boldness? How? Oh, well, I, I think this is very challenging. And I am teaching English in the school, right? In the university. And I told my student about this kind of thing. Because when you are working in a hotel, you must be prepared to answer the guest question. We never know what it is. So I teach them how to answer the question, impromptu question. And it's very, very beneficial for them. 
Wow, that's very nice to know that really Toastmasters has a great impact on a person's life. I also know that you take part in a lot of contests and you've won quite a number. Could you share with us some of your recent achievements? Well, again, I am a person, even though I'm very old now, I have to compete with the young people, but I want to try. I want to try out whether I'm still able to compete with them or not. Because I want to brush up my knowledge to follow what the young people think of anything, any question. And I prove that, that I am still there. I can still beat them sometimes. <laughs> good to hear, good to hear. Um, how do you manage your time? You are a lecturer, you are also a family man. How do you manage your time? Do you have a set a certain time in the day or at night just for preparing your speeches? Because I know some of your speeches, they have a very high quality and if you even want at the district, right? Yes. Well, to prepare that kind of things, I sometimes prepare during the time. Whenever I'm teaching and I've got a break, and if I find something interesting, I try to jot it down. And then in the evening, I try to collect all together and try to reread it and try to practice it. So I even, I mean, anybody can always find a time when you love doing something. I think the most important thing is love. If you love doing this, you will find the time. Yes, when you have the passion to do something, you will always find it. And one more thing I also noticed that even though you are preparing for your contest and all that, you keep on doing it again and again. You practice again and you are willing to ask everybody for feedback. When we ask for feedback, sometimes people may say, say things that, we don't like to hear or it's very embarrassing. Sometimes they point out areas that we don't realize. But you are willing to take that on, willing to accept criticism with an open mind and willing to adapt yourself, change yourself a bit so that you can become a better speaker. What actually drives you to do that? Well, again, because I'm teaching the student, I told them, listen to the feedback if you want to improve. But I have to prove it myself. If I can say that to my student, I have to do it. That's why I always join any kind of things, of contest, and I ask a feedback from them. And I try to listen, improve, and do it again. So I told my student, don't worry about failure, because failure is another step for success. Nice to hear, nice to hear. And my final question for you is that, what is your future plans? What are you trying to do in the future? Are you trying to groom a group of new talented speakers to represent in Indonesia? Or you want to go all the way to the World Championship? Anything like that? I, I would like to help the young people anywhere else, anywhere, not only Indonesia, not only my student, but anywhere else. Well, I do have got an aim to be the champion, to go to the, to the international yes. championship. But, you know, we never know. Only God knows. Yes, yes. I it's keep on a, trying, yeah. A lot of effort and uh, practice and some people even say, depends on your luck also. Yep. If you're at the right time, at the right place, everything right. fits in nicely for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, TTM... Yusuf Chandra, we have heard a lot from you and it's very nice of you to share your thoughts, uh, what drives you and what are your future uh, ambitions. I'm sure a lot of people who listen to this will be very happy to know about this and they would like to visit your club and also listen to you more often. And therefore, I thank you very much for taking your precious time to speak with me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have just listened to GTM, also known as Park Yusuf. Yusuf Chandra from Indonesia is a member of Maranatha Toastmasters Club from Indonesia. A very wonderful person. You should listen to him speak. You can learn a lot from him. His command of the English is quite good. His, uh, the way he handles table topics and even speeches is also quite uh, interesting. And we can learn some tips from him in the future. 
I look forward to coming back to you all again on another episode of these people, the the people who make things happen in Toastmasters. Thank you, everyone, and all the best to you.